In a panel hosted by Naval Systems Command, NAVSIA, at SNA 2026 featuring U.S. Navy Captain Clint Lawler, the program manager for the Zumwalt DDG-1000 class vessels, new details were revealed regarding the overhaul meant to fit conventional prompt strike CPS, hypersonic weapons to the three ships. DDG-1000, the USS Zumwalt, will be reactivated this year following the three-year dry dock period during which the CPS weapon systems were installed. Construction was completed sometime in late 2025 with the installation of the advanced payload modules marked as complete in November of 2025. Following the completion of construction, restarting of onboard systems is imminent which will then be followed by the completion of the testing regarding the whole CPS systems. It was also confirmed that both 155mm advanced gun systems AGS, were removed, with the housing for the forward turret completely scrapped in lieu of housing the CPS missile cells. The second gun emplacement's internals have also been gutted, allowing for the recovery of some previously occupied space under the empty gun housing for other uses. Upon the Zumwalt's return, she will be the first vessel armed with hypersonic missiles in United States Navy inventory, sporting 12 of the CPS missiles in the forward housing. The CPS modules are an almost complete copy of the cells destined for installation onboard future Block 5 Virginia-class fast attack submarines, with the installation on the Zumwalt's providing almost one-to-one -one risk mitigation regarding any future implementation of the missile housings on other vessels. In addition to the Zumwalt herself, USS Michael Monsur, DDG-1001, and the USS Lyndon B. Johnson, DDG-1002, will eventually be refitted along the same standard, fit to carry the same complement of 12 CPS missiles. The work on the second ship in the class to be modernized, the USS Lyndon B. Johnson has already begun, with the removal of the forward gun mount and any other work regarding the rip-out of unnecessary equipment already completed. DDG-1002 is scheduled to return to service by the time DDG-1001 puts into dry dock in 2027 for her round of maintenance. In addition to the completion of the work on the three Zumwalts regarding CPS, new electronic sets, especially radars, are being eyed as a potential upgrade to the class's systems. However, it was stated that the Navy may choose to pursue a common solution regarding electronics between both the Zumwalt class vessels and the USS Gerald or Ford, in particular relating to the AN Spy 3 for radar sets.